tell me about the, the first time you were aware of it. Well, the first time I was aware of it, of the aurora, was the first memory I have was when I was a small kid. My, my parents told me that if I waved or whistled to the aurora, she would come down and get me or knock me over, you know. So, so I just, okay, mom, okay, dad. I went out playing with my friends in the snow and suddenly the aurora came out, started dancing wildly and I just ran home screaming, you know. And <laughs> My name is Dan, I'm an aurora guide. I own the company Arctic Experience. Um, the aurora is for me like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're gonna get. And she can be like static, like an arc over the horizon, or she can just explode and dance above you, like a river of light almost. Uh, people actually say that there's one thing to see the aurora on pictures or on the internet, but when you see it for yourself with your own eyes, it's a whole different feeling. Like you're, you're in the landscape, you're feeling like you're connected in some sort of way to that. And, and the movement, the dancing, and the thing that everything can happen oh, in five good. minutes changing from a static to an exploding aurora, that the thrill just, just give it a whole another dimension. So some people are just shouting and ooh, are really happy, and other people, they just wander a little bit off to be for themselves. And uh, I have had people that have been crying under the aurora. So it's very difficult to describe with words. Uh, just have to see it, you know.